water. It's not spilling, Mom. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Mrs. Martin. Hi, Boomer. What are you doing? Getting our gal ready. She's going to have her babies. Our gal? You mean that saw you bought from Irv Simmons? Boy, what I heard about her. What did you hear about her? She's wacky. Who's wacky? That saw of yours. Our gal is not wacky. Yeah, that ought to hold. What you got the hunk of wood all around the pen down there for? It's a guardrail, Boomer. Little pigs can get under in case any of them is in the way when the maw lies down. My pop never built anything like that. Oh? Had some pigs rolled on then, I'll bet you. What'd you put on the fence? Oh, we washed it down with lye solution and sprayed it with disinfectant. Thanks for the hot water. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Mike. Atta boy. Come on, gal. Come on. Come on, gal. Scratch your ears and make her happy, son. You're gonna give that hog a bath? Well, she's a very fine animal, Boomer. She's gonna have a fine litter. It'll be a small litter, maybe just four pigs, six at the most. But we want them all to live, so we're gonna do our best to protect them before they're born. My pop gets eight and ten pigs out of his sows. Well, they're brood sows. Our gal's just a year old. This is her first time. But she'll have big litters when she's older. Dad, Boomer says our gal's wacky. What makes you think so? That's what Pop said last night at supper. Said he wouldn't have her, she'd won six blue ribbons, instead of just two. Well, Irv Simmons warned you she was a mite temperamental. What is temper? What does Mr. Simmons mean, Dad? Oh. Just she might be hard to handle. I don't see any sign of it. Look at her. <laughs> what does that mean, Lassie? She's okay or uh, look out for mischief? <laughs> you know, I'd give plenty to be able to understand everything Lassie says. <laughs> All I want right now is to get some inside information from this one. Maybe the boys will help you spread a little straw for her nest, Uncle Petrie. Okay, come on, boys. And there's a loose board on the fence. Uh-oh, forgot that. That's where I run out of nails. What do you suppose made Boomer's father say that about our gal? I don't know, but I do know she's one of the best young sows I ever saw in my life. And if there'd been anything wrong with her, Irv Simmons wouldn't have sold her to me. Especially at the price you paid for her. Do you miss your new refrigerator that much? There, there just wasn't enough money for our gal and it, too. Oh, no, I'm not worried about the refrigerator. I can wait for it. I just don't want you to be disappointed. Honey, out of the profits that our gal brings us, I'll buy you a new freezer, too. She's going to be the grandma, the great-grandma, and the great-great-grandma of the purebred herd I always dreamed about. Oh, dreamer. <laughs> She can't be chased in her condition. Condition? Huh. If I was going to rob a bank, I'd get her to buck my way in for me. You know, she found the only board in the whole doggone fence that I didn't nail. Paul, if she's a runaway, we can have an awful time with her. You fret too much. We'll get her back. Come on, Lassie. I better fix that board.
Easy, lassie. Easy. Don't make her run. All right, lassie. See if you can get around behind her and herd her toward us. corn for you. Keep my quiet, Boomer. Okay, I guess. Maybe I better take Mike home. Dad, he won't let him do it again. Okay, but hang on to him, huh, Boomer? I see him, Mr. Martin. I'll try to head her off. Come on, Lassie. We'll go a different way. Yeah, till she gets away from you. That's a good idea. Come on, Lassie. Simmons has her. Hi, Irv. That's all. How'd you get her in there? Well, it's easy when you know how. You sorghum mash. Of course, any kind of mash will do if you pour a cup of sorghum over it. She's crazy about the stuff. I guess I should have told you about it, huh? That isn't all you should have told me. What do you mean, Paul? She just led us a two-mile chase through the woods. Well, that figures. That's normal for her? Well, uh, pigs are plenty smart, and this one's just about the smartest pig I ever raised. Trouble is, like I told you, <laughs> she's just full of the old Ned. Now, you said she was temperamental. Well, same thing, isn't it? Dad says that means hard to handle. He's so right, Sonny. You know, I was fixing some leaks in the roof of my barn, and I left my ladder standing up. And you know what she did? She climbed right up that ladder, and she was standing on the cleats that I was using on the job when I missed her and went looking. You mean a pig can climb a ladder? You know, some people wouldn't believe what a pig could do. Yes, sir, that wacky sow darn near gave me heart trouble more than once. <laughs> See, Timmy, even he says she's wacky. Well, now, uh, maybe I used the wrong word. She's uh, just so smart she gets into mischief. I get into mischief sometimes, too. <laughs> I'll bet a bright red button you do. Well, Paul, you still want to keep her? Yes, I guess I do. Well, I hope that she delivers you a whole parcel of blue ribbon winners. You keep your fingers crossed until she uh, births that litter. Paul? <laughs> okay, fellas, come on. We'll go for a ride. <laughs> You got hungry chasing our gal. What's the matter, Dad? Eat up. No, I'm a bit preoccupied, I guess. Now who's fretting too much? I just can't get over our gal climbing that ladder. Well, you better. I understand she can even fly. Oh, Paul, she's perfectly safe in her pen. You gave her some sorghum mash. She's the cleanest pig in the world since her second bath. And, well, she ought to be just purring like a cat. One thing sure, she can't get out. You know, I'm gonna patent that wood bar I put on the door to her run. I'm still gonna go out and take a last look at our gal. Excuse me. I'm going too. Yes, and you wait. Now mind your manners. Yes, son. Excuse me. Come on, Lassie. She's kind of pretty, isn't she, Dad? Mm hmm Dad, do people ever put pigs in races? Not that I ever heard of. 
It's a pity, too. We could do some winning with our gal. But we're gonna win with her in our own way, because in just about two years, with any kind of luck, we'll have more than 60 pigs just like her. 60? And we'll keep about that many here all the time. When I first saw this farm, I figured it would support that size herd in addition to our other stock. How could you tell, Dad? Oh, it's a matter of feeding. The corn we can raise, the pasturage we've got. It's hard work, but we can do it. In a couple of years, you'll be able to handle a litter like that all by yourself. How would you like that? Swell, but... What's the matter? When's our gal gonna have this litter? <laughs> That's a pretty good question, Timmy. Let's see if she can give us a hint, though. You notice how she's lying there all relaxed? When a sow's about to farrow, she's restless, walks around. Instinct causes her to make a nest for a litter. Our gal hasn't. So I'd say right now, it's pretty hard to tell. Then we don't have to worry. No, and we're not going to. You just wait and see. Everything will be fine. Yippee! Yippee! What's up, Paul? Have you seen our gal? Nope. Do well, you mean she run away again? Yep. Jimmy, the special wood bar I had fixed up, and I was going to take out a patent on it. <laughs> Bars ain't no good for that pig. I bet you could train her to pick a lot. <laughs> Irv, when we do find her, can I trade her back to you for a plain, untemperamental sow? But, Dad, we like our gal. And so does Lassie. <laughs> well, we like her too, Sonny. But she sure is a handful. She's an awful smart pig. She'll change. Look, Lassie's found our gal. She's all right, Dad. We don't have to trade her back now, do we? No, Timmy. Do you see what I see? Yep. She's farrowed. I'll still give you another sow, Paul. I wouldn't hear of it. I bought a brood sow. She's dropped her litter somewhere, and we've got to find them. But where did you leave her babies, Dad? I don't know, son. But unless they're fed within six hours after they're born, they're not going to live. Well, let's get busy. Lassie, we're going back on our gal's trail. Come on. We're going to find the babies. Come on, Uncle Petrie. I'll have our gal all cleaned up and ready to nurse by the time you get back. Timmy will take it pretty hard if we don't find those pigs alive. Means something to you, too, don't it, Paul? Plenty. If only we could know what goes on in that sow's mind, we might be able to figure out where our gal went. Keep on trying, boy. I know I can't think like a pig. here. Rooting for acorn sprouts. That's what she was doing. I hear her tracks as she headed out. Yeah. Get on the trail, Lassie. No, this way, Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let her go, Timmy. She's got notions of her own. Look there, a fox. He's after the baby pigs. Ah, uh, don't you worry. Lassie will take care of him. She's headed him off. Shh, shh. Let's listen for Lassie. Maybe she's hurt, Dad. She's picked up our gal's trail. Six of them, and all healthy. Yeah, and they sure are hungry. Let me see, let me see. Gee, they're tiny. Bet you they weigh all of three pounds apiece. Can we just take them home, Dad? Their home is where our gal is. We've got to get them to her in an awful hurry. You're not just a talking, Paul. Let's go. You ready, Paul? Watch her now. There's no telling what she might do. Let's have her. Come on, you cantankerous female. Come on. Get her out. Come on, yeah. Take over now, Gallier. Hey, hey, come back here. Peter, go herd her back and we'll try it again. No, I don't think I'd take a chance if I was you, Paul. Yeah, you're right. She's pretty skittish. The litter's too valuable to let her hurt them. Do you have a brood, Sal, that might adopt the litter? Yeah, all my litters are too large. Besides, it take time to get us out except your pigs, and they got to be fed right now. Okay, let's bottle feed them. <laughs> Already thought of that. I asked the missus to warm up a cow milk formula just in case. It's up at the house. Get him! Get him! Get him. Get him. All right, Pigby, let's go up and get the formula. Come along. Bottles, won't they, Dad? We'll just have to wait and see, son. How are yours doing, Dad and Uncle Petru? Mine don't like it much. Ah, they miss them all. And this ain't exactly the kind of a bank what more nature told them to expect. They'll live, won't they? I've got just about enough down them to ward off starvation, but that's about all. I'd like to wring that our gal's neck. She'll do better. Lassie will show her what to do. We can depend on Lassie, Dad. Yep, Lassie, you're responsible. You know what the Chinese believe when you save anybody's life? You gotta take care of them forever after. Well, you got six lives you saved, so do your stuff. <laughs> Silly Sal climbed clear over the fence. Now, where does she think she's going? The way it looks, she's heading for your place. Last you'll take her home, I bet. Now, it's no use abusing your hospitality any longer. If you lend us a basket, we'll take the litter back with us and round up our gal and try again. Why, sure, Paul. Come on, Timmy. Our gal. Why did we ever call her that? Best news I've had today. Look at her family. <laughs> oh 
I'm willing to try anything. Go ahead. See, gal? This is what you're supposed to do. Feed them. Let them nurse. See you a minute. Uh, you and Lassie stay here and watch our gal for a minute, will you, son? Well, she's liable to kick up a fuss when we tie her down and force her to feed him. Oh, Paul. It won't hurt her. We just want you to keep Timmy out of the way. Lass, we gotta do something. Talk to our gal. Gal, can't you stop being silly? You're an awful smart pig. Don't you know those babies are yours? Pay attention. She's asking me to open the gate. <laughs> Lassie? Maybe I don't understand everything Lassie says, but that pig sure does. How do you suppose Lassie talked her into it, Dad? It's beyond me, son. But I'm beginning to understand a little more now. See, our gal wasn't at home on this farm yet. Animals feel things, too, and... Like people, when they're moved, they, they leave something of themselves at the old home. There's an emptiness in them until they can sink their roots into the new place. Our gal ran home to Irv's farm, and she couldn't get there before she had her babies, and then when she did have them in the woods, she couldn't figure out where she belonged. And I bet Lassie told her this was home. It could be. And I bet Lassie told her that she is a grown-up mother pig now. And she better act like one. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. And I'd like to offer my thanks, Lassie. I'd like to offer my thanks too, Lassie.